Hello students, the question is a solid glass sphere of radius 6 cm has a small air bubble trapped at a distance 3 cm from its center C as shown in the figure. The refractive index of the material of the sphere is 1.5. Find the apparent position of the bubble when seen through the surface of the sphere from an outside point E in air. So the problem is based on the topic ray optics and in this particular problem we have to calculate the apparent position of this air bubble. Now the situation is this, there is a glass sphere, inside this glass sphere there is a bubble here which is at a distance of 3 cm from its center. Suppose any person is there outside this particular sphere, outside, uh, it is observing from the left hand side from this particular sphere then what is the apparent position of this particular bubble? That is the question. So, this particular question may have a particular glass sphere. Diya gaya hai. Us glass sphere ke a particular point pe ek air bubble hai, jo ki uske center se 3 cm ki duri par hai. Agar koi ek particular person, jo ki uske left hand side se observe karta hai is particular air bubble ko, to uski apparent position kya hogi. So, yaha pe ek common observation hai. Uh, जो कि हमने earlier classes में भी पढ़ी हुई है कि अगर suppose हमारे पास कोई एक tumbler या glass है और उसमें कोई एक pencil हम रखते हैं तो pencil bend होती हुई दिखाई देती है हमें the reason is the refraction process so due to the refraction process there is a change in the apparent position of this particular air bubble now we know that uh, when a light ray goes in this particular direction which is the line joining O to E it does not deviate it moves in the straight path like this. But suppose if a light ray goes like this, goes in this particular angle, then this is the normal, this is the normal to the surface which is passing through the point of C, and that is the center of curvature. Then we know that from the basic rules of optics that when a light moves from a denser medium to a rarer medium, then it moves away from the normal. So it moves away from the normal. Then we can say that if this is angle of incidence, then this is angle of refraction. And if we trace its path back, backward like this, then we can easily see that this is the final position of the image. This is the final position of the image of this particular air bubble. So in this way, we can see that there is an apparent shift and we have to find out this apparent shift. Now, in this particular problem, to solve this problem, we have to use this particular formula that N2 upon V minus N1 upon U equals to N2 minus N1 upon R. This is the particular formula which we use to solve this particular problem. Now, in this particular formula, N1 is the refractive index of the medium from which the light ray basically propagates, starts. So the light ray is starting from the glass medium which is having a refractive index of 1.5. So that's why we are using here N1 equals to 1.5. And since the light ray is going from the glass medium to the air medium, so the refractive index of air which is equal to 1 is taken as N2. So N2 is 1 and N1 is 1.5. Now V, we have to calculate. We have to calculate the value of the final image position. So, V, we have to calculate U. U is the distance of this particular bubble that is our object here in this particular problem from the pole. Now, from the pole, we can calculate easily its distance. The distance is the total radius of the sphere is R and it is given as 6 centimeters. So, 6 cm radius is the radius of this particular sphere and uh, the position of the bubble is 3 cm from the center. So, we can say that the magnitude, the modulus of this PO is 6 minus 3 which is equal to 3 cm. But we have to use the sign convention also. And according to the sign convention, the direction of the incident light is, is taken as the reference positive. So, it means that the direction of the incident light which is from which is in this direction which is from right to left so the right to left direction is taken as the reference direction so in this way the distance from p to a which is our u here is is basically against the direction of the incident light so that's why we have to use 
u equals to minus 3 centimeter here because it is in the opposite direction to the direction of the incident light. Similar is the case for r, similar is the case of r because the radius of curvature here is in the rightward direction and this rightward direction is against the direction of the incident light which is from left to right, so, which is from right to left. So that is why r is also negative here which is minus 6 centimeter here. So we are putting these values n2, n2 is 1, 1 upon v we have to calculate n1 is 1.5 upon u, u is minus 3 is equal to n2 minus n1, 1 minus 1.5 upon r, r is minus 6. Now uh, 1 upon v and this minus cancels with this minus. So 1.5 upon 3 is 1 upon 2. So it is 1 plus 1 upon 2. 1 minus 0.5 is 0.5. 1 minus 1.5 is 0.5. And uh, this is minus and this is minus 6. So minus minus cancels and we get this value is 1 upon 12. So 1 upon V comes out to be 1 upon 12 minus 1 upon 2. The LCM is 12. So 1 minus this is uh, 6. So this comes out to be minus 5 upon 12. In this way, V is equal to minus 12 upon 5, which comes out to be minus 2.4 centimeters. So in this way, we get the value of V as minus 2.4 centimeters. Uh, or we can say that the image position is 2.4 centimeter from the pole towards the right hand side because the negative sign shows the right hand side with respect to this point P. So we can say that now that PI is equal to 2.4 centimeters and the negative sign shows the rightward point direction. So this distance is 2.4. So our answer is the image is apparent position of the bubble is 2.4 centimeter from the pole or from the surface of the glass sphere. And uh, if you want to calculate the distance between the object and image, then we can see from this particular geometry that this distance PO, PO distance is, PO distance is equal to 3 centimeters. So in this way, IO distance, IO distance is 3 minus 2.4, which is equal to 0.6 centimeter. So in other words, we can say that uh, the distance between image and object is 0 0.6 centimeter, but we have to answer only 2.4. This is our final answer that the distance of the apparent position of the bubble is 2.4 centimeter from the surface inside the bubble. We have to write down that. In, inside the glass sphere, inside the glass sphere, the apparent position of the bubble is there. So the answer is 2.4 centimeters. So this problem to solve करने के लिए हमने एक particular जो formula use किया है, n2 upon v minus n1 upon u equals to n2 minus n1 upon r. यहाँ पे हमें ध्यान ये देना होगा कि particular ray जो है, वो incident ray है, उसकी direction क्या है? तो अगर incident ray को हम देखते हैं, then अगर suppose इस point को हम नाम देते हैं n so, our ray is start from the object se O to N. That particular ray, when it strikes on this interface, pe, to wo normal se, normal hoga basically, the center of curvature will be bent from the normal se band ho jayegi away from the normal. Because light ray is a denser medium from the rarer medium. When we trace its path, we will get the apparent position of the object. Ki. और वही पोजीशन हमें कैलकुलेट करनी है विद रिस्पेक्ट टू द पोल अब यहां पे ध्यान हमें देना है कि रेफरेंस डायरेक्शंस के हिसाब से हम u का और r का साइन किस तरह से लिखें तो यहां पे अगर हम बात करें u की तो u है बेसिकली p से o तक की दूरी हम p से c तक की दूरी जानते हैं रेडियस के बराबर व्हिच इज 6 हम c से o तक की दूरी जानते हैं 3 सेंटीमीटर तो इस हिसाब से po डिस्टेंस हो जाएगी 6 3 व्हिच इज इक्वल टू 3 लेकिन नेगेटिव साइन के साथ क्योंकि डायरेक्शन जिसकी राइटवर्ड्स है और हमारा इंसिडेंट रे जो है वो राइट से लेफ्ट की तरफ चल रही है तो इसलिए हमें इस केस में u को नेगेटिव 3 रखना पड़ेगा इसी तरह से r की अगर हम बात करें तो रेडियस ऑफ कर्वेचर जो है वो हमें नेगेटिव रखनी पड़ेगी क्योंकि वो राइट हैंड साइड डायरेक्शन में है जबकि इंसिडेंट रे राइट से लेफ्ट की तरफ है तो r हमें नेगेटिव 6 रखना पड़ेगा 
ये सारी वैल्यूज हम पुट करके सॉल्व करते हैं तो हमें v की वैल्यू मिलती है माइनस टू सेंटीमीटर जो कि नेगेटिव साइन ये बताता है कि जो फाइनल इमेज बन रही है वो इन साइड द ग्लास पेयर की बनेगी क्योंकि ये राइट हैंड साइड होगी पोल के रेस्पेक्ट में तो हमें पता लग जाएगी दूरी 2.4 सेंटीमीटर फ्रॉम द पोल फ्रॉम दिस पर्टिकुलर पॉइंट इनसाइड द ग्लास फेयर सो दिस इज द फाइनल आंसर होप यू अंडरस्टैंड द सॉल्यूशन थैंक यू